Look at this view. We literally parked in front of the Burj Khalifa. I haven't given you a Seflora update in a while. So I wasn't gonna vlog tonight. We were just going out and it's really, really busy. So I kept going up and up and up into buy more parking spaces. And I had no idea this existed, but we are currently on the roof and look at this view. Here is my car. And look at that view. Oh my, we literally parked in front of the Burj Khalifa. How mad is that? And look at these views on top of the rooftop. Look at that. It's literally all around us. I can't believe this. This is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can see as well. I don't think the camera's see picking the it up. But there is a right drone inside. flying around. Can you see that drone? Oh, I can just see it. So they're obviously filming something. How cool. Nah, look at those views. This is literally mental. Top tip. If you want a photo in downtown Dubai skyline? Look, even more up there. If you want a photo somewhere? Come to Dubai Mall rooftop. Those opportunities are endless. How gorgeous. We're literally in the middle of it. That's it. New favourite place for photo. We've just got back and look at that. The moon right at the top. Absolutely beautiful. That's just already starting the car without me. I'm driving! Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So last night, I'm very sorry that I didn't really have a proper intro. I was just so excited to see the Burj Khalifa. That was a first for us. We'd never discovered that. We always obviously go to Dubai Mall, as you guys would see. Um, but normally we never actually make it that high up. Like normally there's spaces down below, but for whatever reason, last night was so busy. So we just kept going up. Well, I did, I was driving. So I just kept going up and up and up until eventually it was rooftop. And I parked up, I literally hadn't even noticed, which was ridiculous because it's like the tallest building in the world. And I parked up, Ollie got out the car and he was like, come here and look, like look up. So I closed the door, looked up and there was the Burj Khalifa and then I looked around and they were all, it was just absolutely incredible. So budget tip, top tip, budget in Dubai life. You want a good photo of the Burj Khalifa? Just go to Dubai Mall parking lot, go to the top floor. Happy days, no one's around either. So there you go. I'm just over here discovering new things, letting you know. So if you ever come out to Dubai, you two can do those things. My hair's quite damp, by the way, because Ollie was like, get ready. So I washed my hair and chucked on my face and my hair's still quite damp. I just let it like dry on its own. I just let it air dry, dry naturally. I don't hair dryer it or anything because it goes all frizzy if not so it's just best to try and keep its curls in last night was obviously very good at dubai mall we just had our usual went for a pasta went for a nice italian it was very nice but there were no fountains on last night no shows so unfortunately sheikh muhammad's brother passed away so the country is in mourning at the moment which i find extremely respectful um and i think it's a really nice thing to do that means that the radio stations are only playing classical music so there's no radio stations on at the moment so they're all the same they're all playing the same music they still say like read out the news every now and again but that's it so we've been listening to classical music you can still obviously you listen to your phone and stuff which a lot of people do but i find it more respectful i don't mind listening to classical music and i sat there last night and i said well oh there's no shows and he went morning that was different actually to go to Dubai Mall and not have the shows on the fountains or Burj Khalifa lit up or anything but obviously it's a sign of respect um what else I haven't given you a Seflora update in a while I think the last time I spoke about Seflora was mm, January when I first got back I did film this footage the other night but it was dark and you couldn't really see it and they were stuck in their cupboard so oh, that's just Chloe, don't mind her. So this is the Seflora selection. 
in all of its glory. These ones are like nearly two years old now. But I just thought I'd talk you through it. So sparkling spruce. Oh my goodness. That could be... I don't know if it's my favourite, but it's definitely my favourite winter smell. That literally just smells like Christmas. Like that is Christmas tree dipped in sugar. It's literally incredible. So sparkling spruce stands out for me. Warm cinnamon. Smells gross, actually, to be honest with you. But I'm sure I'll appreciate it closer to Christmas time. Violet and mimosa. Wow. That's all I can say, right? That smells amazing. That is absolutely beautiful. That one goes in the bedroom and that one, mm, mm, mm. It's not strong enough for downstairs in the kitchen and living room area. But in the bedroom, that smells delightful. Rose North smells really nice as well. I like sticking that one in the mop bucket. Nice and strong, that one. Uh, also, mandarin and lime. Uh, I didn't think I was into all these fruity smells. And then mandarin and lime comes in and I'm like, oh, I was not expecting to like that one that much. Cranberry and orange is the same as well. That smells incredible. Spice plum, amazing. Um, peach one was okay, nothing to scream about. Rhubarb one, honestly, that smells better diluted than, than like straight from the bottle. It's okay, so-so, no complaints, it's not gross. Midnight Blooms, honestly, um, unpopular opinion, I think it's really overrated. And I bought three of them thinking that was going to be a hit. I am quite disappointed in that one. But other than that, Secret Garden smells amazing as well, but that's like two years old. And Winter Morning wasn't all that either, and I bought two of them as well. And Twilight Garden wasn't that nice either, I don't think. But yeah, so the ones that stand out are for me sparkling spruce violet and mimosa rose nor mandarin and lime cranberry and orange and spice plum and if i had to choose a favorite it's hard i mm, i couldn't i don't know violet and mimosa maybe violet and mimosa or sparkling spruce or mandarin and lime or cranberry and orange or spice plum but here it is oh and it's all in my lovely little box now this makes me very happy you are welcome for that update i know you've all been dying for it so yeah we're off out now i don't know where ollie was like get ready get dressed get dressed nice we're going out and i was like oh okay where are we going i'm not telling you he loves doing this he literally always surprises me date days whatever you want to call them date nights i don't organize any it's all down to ollie he normally does very well, but he does have a surprise, so I'm never allowed to know about any of it. Let's see where we end up. Hopefully I'll take you along. Apparently it's somewhere new. That's exciting for you and I both. You know, we love finding new places out here. That's what we like to do on this channel. So if you too like finding new places in Dubai and fancy a nice virtual holiday wherever you are in the world, subscribe and turn on your notification bell to stay updated with everything. And yeah, I suppose we'll just get into it really, but I don't know where I'm going. I'm not, I'm not really the most spontaneous person. I like a plan, I'm an organized person. Ollie is very spontaneous. So I'm a bit like, oh, don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going or anything. So I'll just keep you updated. So let's go. I don't know where, but we're going. Let's go. <laughs> Oh,
This is a very nice place. I don't know if you can see, but I've got a freshly squeezed lemon and mint juice. Look at this. Very beautiful. I'm still here with my shisha and I've got a lovely little apple cocktail. Not that you can see and I'm too embarrassed to turn the flash on. And Ollie's got one too. I don't know if you can see, but that is the frame. The buy frame. And all of that is the creek. Such a lovely view. Welcome to the next day. Last night was actually a really long one. We literally got home at like, I don't know, two. So, um, my eyebrows look quite big today. So yeah, we got back about 2 a.m., went to bed about three, but it was just so nice. I could literally just sit there all night. It was just perfect really like I was living my best life smoking shisha now I don't smoke right but I am partial to a good shisha so if you ever see like little cigarette packets or anything floating about in my videos they belong to Ollie they're not mine so yeah last night I was living my best life normally after like a little while I normally get impatient I'm like all right Ollie I'm done here now let's move let's like go oh yeah have I addressed the fact that I bruised my finger probably not I bruised my finger I knocked it on the slidey door and uh, it's just getting bigger and bigger so I guess I've got to wait until it grows out but as I was saying so last night I was living my best life normally I'm like yeah can we go now I'm done whereas Ollie could wait for a lot like longer he likes to sit and chill for ages but I keep quite impatient so he was very happy he was like right I'm gonna start getting your shoes more often when we're out because you do not nag to go. You, I was literally sat there like, yeah, we can have another drink. Yeah, sure. Like me and my mocktails. I did order a mocktail last night and they were like, you do know that it doesn't have alcohol in it? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> They're clearly not used to British people going there and not ordering alcohol. So um, I was like, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I don't want alcohol. I don't, I don't drink. <laughs> designated driver but it was just perfect because it was all along the creek we'd never been there before and you could see like the Burj Khalifa the Dubai frame it just was such nice weather as well because I guess we were by the water so the breeze was incredible it was just perfect it was a really nice night so Ollie found that that was his little find for the evening I did try and record but it just didn't pick anything up like the camera was just rubbish like I have still using my phone because I don't know if I feel comfortable vlogging with an actual camera out in public. That might sound stupid. But like phone, everyone films out here. Like everyone, as soon as everyone sees the Burj Khalifa, bam, their phones come out, right? So it's very normal for people to have their phones out and record out here. My camera, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. It was absolutely lovely. Yes, that's right. I don't know if you can hear Chloe. She is popping off. She is fuming right because she's ran out of wet food and she keeps running to her bowl and begging for wet food now she has 24 7 access to biscuits her bowl is always full of biscuits but she has two bowls one for biscuits and one for food like wet food and she's just not satisfied with these biscuits so she wants her wet food so she just follows us around all day today <laughs> like hello I want my wet food <laughs> where's my wet food she even woke me up this morning like meowing and patting my face saying wet food breakfast please so we I know right we're bad parents so we're actually now going out to get her some wet food and we'll probably grab a coffee 
but she is fuming. Mm. Are you fuming? Are you angry with us? You've got little sleepies in your eye. You've been sleeping. Are you annoyed? Do we need to go outside to get you your wet food? <laughs> She's not happy. Oh dear. Well, so we've got to go to get her wet food. Yes. Oh, she looks really annoyed. So that's where we're going now for, you know, priorities. So anyway, that's where we're off to at the moment. Just to the supermarket and coffee. I did say that. Okay. Hello. Very concerned we're going to lose our TV. Yes, he's so clueless. Where's it going? It's going off the screen. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Sorry. It's a few days later. Yes, this is the same person. I just have no makeup on. Don't fancy it. I'm very spotty at the moment. Fully aware. Uh, I think it's probably my coil because it's all on my chin actually it's everywhere and I've never had such bad skin before but very common out here because the water is not very nice so I think I just need to get a shower filter so yeah so it's a few days later now just gonna go grab a coffee say hello oh my god look I'm in love She's so perfect, I want to take her home. And I'm just gonna wrap it up here really. So I hope you enjoyed this one. We're just out here finding those new places. So if you fancy coming along on a little virtual holiday, then subscribe. Make sure to like as well, helps up my algorithm so other people can find me and comment as well even if it's just like a little love heart i appreciate you taking the time i hope you're all keeping well wherever you are i know that the uk has eased their restrictions so i think it's like six people can get together now outside i hope wherever you are in the world you're keeping safe and well and i look forward to seeing you all in the next one thank you bye Hello.